Welcome to Round Robin. I'm your host, Robin McCormick, with the City of Hampton's Communications and Marketing Department. And as you can tell, we are not in the studio today. We have a special treat for you. We're at the Virginia Air and Space Center. And my guest today is Megan Steele. Welcome, Megan. Thank you. Thanks for being here. We appreciate it. It's a great place to be. It's so much fun. Of course, we're here now when there's nobody, no, no children running around and, it, and it's quiet. But we get a chance to see things and talk about it. And this is one of the best places in Hampton to be, especially in the winter. And granted, it's, it's also wonderful in the summer when it's hot, but you're indoors, the kids can run. Um, it's very hands-on, you know? It's a, a fun and exciting place. It is, we've been here for 20 years and everything. It doesn't seem that long, does it? It doesn't, and I've been here not quite that long, but long enough, and it really, I mean, the way the place has really evolved in the last 20 years is amazing. And like you said, everything is interactive and hands-on, which is, fun for the entire family, a little bit for, for everyone. There have been just so many different things here. You know, there's a lot of changing exhibits and special events, but let's talk about your permanent collection. It really starts with the history of flight. It really does. Um, Wright Brothers' first flight. We have a gallery that we opened in 2003 called Adventures in Flight, and it covers all the way from the Wright Brothers to the future of flight, and we're the visitor center for NASA Langley Research Center. So we talk a lot about future of flight and what NASA Langley is doing to make air travel safer and quieter even. So you talk about the flight aspect of what NASA does, exactly. which is a lot. I mean, they're aerospace, um, they've been big pioneers in that. Right, right. they have their hands in a, almost every little pie in NASA's mission, but um, one of their main focuses is atm atmospheric sciences and aviation safety and they play a very important role in, in that area. And that's one of the things as part of our mission is we wanna make sure the public knows not only what NASA's mission is and what their next steps are, but also what NASA Langley's role is in the entire NASA mission. And so that, that exhibit in the Adventures in Flight Gallery is really, really um, exciting because it talks about all kinds of cool things, including personal aircraft one day when we're all commuting um, in the air instead of on I-64, so. <laughs> Well, you also, you know, you get to learn a fair amount of science with, not that I know what any of these words mean, but lift and drag and, you know, all that, the way the air moves and things. Well, and that's one of the things that we try to do, even though we're aviation and space themed, we're actually more of a science and technology center. So sometimes we have, like our traveling exhibits will come in that aren't necessarily air or space, but they all have some kind of scientific basis. So, and that's what we kind of try to do because anything aviation and space related is really based on science and physics and technology so that's what we try to do so back to the permanent collection because behind you is one of your um, really special it's our jewel it's one of my favorites and it's so beautiful I mean it's so you know it's lit up during the day but at night it's gorgeous too and um, it's the Apollo 12 command module and it was the second manned mission to the moon so it actually went orbited around the moon and uh, and Dick Gordon, Pete Conrad, um, both have been here before. So it's kind of exciting to have a piece of history here. It really is. It's, um, you know, and it just is so, I don't know, real. I mean, you know, you see the coloration to it and the, I guess the heat tiles have been sort of burned off. Right, it really kind of brings it to your, yeah, right into your face. Like mm -hmm. this is what the beginning of the space program was like. So, and to imagine that those men were in that capsule for those many days, it's just, it's very exciting to have it here, and, and we're very proud of it. There are a lot of capsules on display around the country, but um, this one you can really get up and close and personal with, and yeah. we're very proud of that. We're very excited to have this new piece. It's the Orion PA-1 um, test vehicle, and it literally is the vehicle that they are testing now to be the next mission um, for deep space exploration. So the next, because right now we're, we just retired the shuttle, so we're kind of in between and still going to the space station. But this Orion module, once they get through all the test phases and everything, this might be the vehicle that takes astronauts to Mars. The launch abort system, uh, one of the things that NASA Langley is well known for, as you know, is, um, is safety across the board for air and um, space missions. And so they've been working on the launch abort system, which is going to make the space travel much safer for the astronauts. So if something were to happen during launch, they would be able to escape. Now, up above our heads are um, planes that are not from the beginning and, and not from space travel, but from military history. Right, we actually have um, an F-18, it's the HARV, and it was used um, in research to test high altitude um, 
It was put together um, from pieces. The Navy had retired it. And so the F-18 HAR was used in a lot of great research to be able to allow jet planes to pull out of difficult situations. So we're very excited to have that. And that came from Dryden um, out in California. Well, now let's talk a little bit about some of your changing exhibits, um, and specifically those ones that target maybe younger children. I know you have Clifford right now. We do, and we try to bring in two or three traveling exhibits every year. And like I was mentioning before, that we have um, exhibits that not always are air and space, but have some kind of scientific basis. Um, Clifford is something new that we've been trying. We had Bob the Builder last year, and it was a really great exhibit too. And one of the things that we found in the fall is that families with smaller children aren't doing sports and all of that, and they're looking for things to get the kids out. And my son is too. He absolutely loves Clifford. Um, really cute exhibit, and it's all about team building and those basic foundation blocks for preschoolers and toddlers. Um, such a cute exhibit if you're familiar with the Clifford books. Clifford just turned 50 this year, so he's been around a long time. Wow. I know, amazing. And I remember reading Clifford when I was little. So um, it kind of transports them to Birdwell Island. They get to take the ferry. They can play um, pretend in the restaurant. Um, just some really neat hands-on activities for the children. And then for um, children, I guess that age or older, you also do host birthday parties. I mean, it's a place people can rent to have um, a birthday party where you don't have to have all those kids in your own house. Yes. Exactly, we do really great birthday parties. And one of the things that you can do when you do the party is get a science demonstration added on, which is always a great time. We do liquid nitrogen, and they can make space ice cream. So some cool things for that. And a great place to just be able to not have the party at your house. We, we will take care of the mess and to let the kids just kind of run through the exhibits. And you can even add an IMAX film, which is always fun too. And speaking of IMAX, yes. you guys, and now see, I didn't realize this, still have the biggest screen on the peninsula. We do. We have the original size of the, the IMAX screen. Our screen is five stories high. So um, really, really, really great experience. And the way that our theater is graded, it really is the true IMAX experience where you're in the action. And you have that surround kind of you do, and that's one of the things that IMAX was really well known for when they first started doing these theaters, is they would kind of, um, they curve the screen a little bit, so it allows anywhere you sit in the theater, you can experience the same thing the guy across the, the way is. So it really is, um, the quality, the, clar the clarity of the picture is amazing. We have the digital surround sound, which is, amazing and our projector is digital and 3D so we bring in a lot of films that are educational like um, Hubble 3D which has been amazing beautiful images the only way to see them is an IMAX and we also do the Hollywood blockbusters we just had um, 007 and we've had Hobbit so um, and some exciting ones coming up like Superman and things like that so we're looking forward to that so it's a mix it can be you know a little kid experience it can be a date night experience um, and the nice thing too about going to a movie here is you can walk across over to Queen Street and have you know dinner before or after or you know make a night of it you're in, right here in downtown exactly. which is a really wonderful thing now the, we should mention a couple of things the carousel you guys also operate that we do and it's seasonal it will um, close down in the colder months um, but then we will open back up right before spring break so um, but in the colder months you have the ice rink to get people uh, that's right always outdoors. something to do right so um, we've done the ice skating rink since I think 2006 and that's always uh, a lot of fun and um, we try to tie it to like a holiday IMAX and things like that but we usually have it um, usually Thanksgiving to middle of spring you know so um, and that's a lot of fun I'm not very good at it but <laughs> a lot of people enjoy it well that's great now we're gonna run out of time and I don't want you to have to list the specific hours but tell us where people can go to find out your hours your pricing your discount tickets things like that sure everything that um, that you need to know about getting here and how to get here is on our website at VASC.org or you can call our front desk at 727-0900 and our visitor services associates are always very happy to help you Okay, well, thank you very much, Megan. I appreciate you giving us a tour today. Absolutely. It's wonderful to come visit. Well, thanks for being here. Come back. Thank you. And thank you for watching this episode of Round Robin. I hope this will stimulate you to uh, come out and check out the Air and Space Center. And if you haven't been here recently, there are some changing exhibits and some new things to come see.